21st of September was day four of Ostersund as a short form if you just want to know who won on the 21st it was Germany that won 14 nil Japan that won 8 nil and China beat Sweden 6 nil on the schedule Germany versus Poland started at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. CET Japan versus Finland started at 1 30 p.m. CET and China versus Sweden started at 1700 hours 5 p.m. CET that's Central European time day four match one went live 10 a.m. Central European time 9 a.m. UK time Germany versus Poland it was live over on the Paralympic Games official YouTube channel and we had the live statistics over here at paralympic.org slash 2021 early on in the first period Christian Pills has scored a second goal for Germany making it 2-0 Germany did not wait to start scoring they immediately they jumped in and immediately started scoring for the team right in the back of the net Germany made it look easy on that day they really did Felix Schroeder scored a hat trick in less than two minutes making it 5-0 for Germany Felix Schroeder was on form on the 21st waited for the opportunity and right behind the goalkeeper after two periods of play Germany was leading Poland by nine goals to nil nine goals to nil at the end of the second period of day of the first match of day four of Ostersund then in the third period Bernard Herring the Germany forward scored an awesome goal. Bernard Ehring, third period, awesome goal. Watch this right behind the net. Such a good goal. Not too long after that, Felix Schrader on fire, scoring his sixth goal of the game. This is Felix Schrader scoring his sixth goal of the game for Germany, making it 13 nil. Germany was on fire on Tuesday. Germany won their match against Poland on Tuesday, 14 0, with their fourth win. They didn't concede a single goal on that day uh, up until. Tuesday um, they hadn't lost a single match they were unbeaten so the second game of the day Japan versus Finland and Japan early lead number 70 right there right in the back of the net the goalkeeper didn't even blink three minutes left in the third period China led 2-0. Masaharu Kumagai stroke, strike first in the second period in the game, make, uh, making it 3-0 to Japan. This is Masaharu. There it is. Such a brutally fast goal. I would not want to see that coming at or that puck coming at me with in, with those speeds. Um, from that close distance. Not at all. Japan was brutal in this game. They really were. The end of the game. Second win of the tournament for Japan. Japan versus Finland. Japan scored eight goals to Finland's zero. Giving Japan their second win of the tournament. Uh, 21st of September. The third game of the day. China against Sweden. The last match of the fourth round. After the first period, there was one goal separating the two teams. Hongguan Li from China scored after two minutes of play, uh, but Sweden 
kept its goal empty for the rest of the period. Hong Guan Lee managing to get a goal. There you go. Nice goal. Swedish goalkeeper there falling onto his back. Just trying to block that shot. In the second period, China's lead grew when Yi Ping Shen scored twice, putting China four goals ahead of Sweden with a nice, nice wraparound goal there. Second period, or, yeah, second period, they, uh, China was up four goals to nil. Not too long after that, Yi Ping Shen scored his third goal of the game. The fifth goal for China. Fifth goal for China. Ping Shen's hat trick in the third period. Just at the start of the third period. Making it 5-0. Look at that shot. Number 17. The speed. The speed. He overtook number 3 there. And oh. And of course China winning that fourth round game against Sweden. 6-0 on the 21st of September. Unbeaten on the day. 21st of September, China secured the spot in the A-Pool Worlds for the first time ever. They deserve it. They really, really deserve it. And then Germany following China's footsteps, also clinching a spot in the A-Pool for the 2022-2023 season. Coming back for, to the highest rank of para-ice hockey for the first time since 2017. The tables for Ostersund 2021 on the 21st of September, day 4 of the World Championships to be full. It was China and Germany leading the tables with 12 points apiece, 4 wins, 0 losses. And then in third and fourth place in the tables was J uh, Sweden and Japan with six points apiece. And Finland and Poland with zero points apiece. Ostersund 2021, Japan still on the road to Beijing. Germany beats Finland while China triumphs against Sweden on the 21st of September to set up the final day match for first place in the tables. Japan playing Sweden on the last day of competition for a place at the Paralympics qualification tournament later this year. On the 21st of September, Japan kept its hopes of qualifying for the Beijing 2022 Paralympic Games alive on Tuesday by picking up its second victory at the World Para Ice Hockey Championships b pool in Ostersund, Sweden with a commanding 8 nil win over Finland. But with one day left of the games, Japan and Sweden are tied for third place in the standings with six points each, and the top three finishers from Ostersund 2021, earning a trip to the Paralympic Qualification Tournament later this year. Captain Nao Kodama, who was introduced to the sport by 2010 Paralympic silver medalist Takayuki Indo, scored twice in the first seven minutes of Japan's game, including once on the power play to give his team the advantage against Finland right off the bat. Masaharu Kamagai put up a hat trick, striking three times in the final two periods. Mamaru Yashikawa scored his first two goals of the tournament, and Norihiku Nasu found the net for the first time to round out Japan's barrage of scores. Japanese goaltenders Mitsuru Nagase and Osamu Odajima combined for the shutout while Timo Karko had 26 saves for Finland. In the second game of the day, Germany kept its undefeated streak intact with a 14-0 victory over Poland that featured 7 goals from 24-year-old sensation Felix Schrader, including three from him in the first period and three in the final period. He now has a tournament-leading 13 goals. 
uh, as of Tuesday the 21st. Captain Das Disfeld and forward Bernard Herring each scored twice, and Christian Pills, Lucas Glores, and Ingo Kuhuli Lundstein all added goals in the victory for Germany. Viet Mülhans and Simon Kunst combined for the victory between the pipes for Germany, while goaltender Christoph Kulski played all 45 minutes for Poland, and recording 29 saves during the game. Germany has now guaranteed itself a top two finish in Ostersund, meaning they will move up to the A pool next season. In China versus Sweden, the final game of the 21st of September, China defeated Sweden 6-0 to remain undefeated in the tournament and guarantee themselves a spot in the A pool for the 2022-2023 season. Three players scored for China, which has now racked up 51 goals through four games, including Hongguan Li, Yifen Shen, and Zhen Quang Zhu. Shen recorded a hat trick with two goals in the second stanza and another in the third, and now leads all players at the tournament with 17 points. Zhu scored twice in the game, including the final goal of the contest on a power play, while Li scored less than three minutes into the match. Yan Zhaoji recorded another shout-out to maintain his 100% save percentage in Ostersund, while Ulf Nilsson had 22 saves for Sweden. 100% saves percentage. Jesus. The final day of action on Wednesday featured a battle for the first place between undefeated China and Germany, along with Poland against Finland and Sweden versus Japan. China and Germany have already secured top two finishes in Ostersund as of the 21st of September, meaning they will advance to the Beijing 2022 Paralympic Winter Games qualification tournament later this year, and will also be promoted to the April for the 2022-2023 season. The final spot at the qualification tournament will go to the winner of Japan versus Sweden. Uh, all games uh, of Austria's in 2021 were streamed live on the official Paralympic Games YouTube channel. More information about the team's complete schedule and results can be found on the Austria's 2021 website, which is paralympic.org slash Austria's. 2021.